I once hid a girl in my bed whilst my entire family came into the bedroom to have a conversation with me. <laughs> right, Lee. Now, uh, how old were you? Um, I was uh, 18. And, a bit of a nervy, nervy question, how 15. old was she? No, she was... Uh, <laughs> she wasn't, she was of age. Of age? Yeah. <laughs> Forty-four. Sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was just of a normal age. She was age. a clean. She'd be a normal age. She's a normal age. She's a bit ageist, isn't it? Are you saying that Rob's boy? abnormal? <laughs> well, yeah, if Rob was in my bed, it would be a bit weird, but... Actually, well, a lot easier to hide him. <laughs> <laughs> just pop him in the pillowcase. Throw him over your shoulder, off you go. So, you'd had a lovely, tender time with this young lady. The next morning arrived, the start of a whole new dawn, mm. and she was secreted, hidden, under the, <laughs> under the duvet. My dad comes in, knock, knock, and knock. I say... Get under there. Under there. And what did your dad say? No, no, no. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's I don't want to have to have an awkward moment with my dad introducing him to this girl, so I said, why don't you just hide under there? <laughs> was, it, was she a very thin girl? <laughs> because I would have thought you would have seen a body under a duvet. Yeah. You see, you don't understand the kind of toggage that I'm rocking back at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very thick duvet. A like, thick. Yeah, yeah, plenty of... Was it, was it winter? Duvet Jack? to hide. Was yeah, it, winter? It, was, it was winter. Did, but I there's nothing cold, worse right? than a heavy tog in the summer. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> but I have um, two duvets within the, the uh, thing, and then so I take do one I. So do I. I take one away for the summer, Yeah. stick it back on for the winter. It's a lovely way of doing it's it. So it. Good. <laughs> I'm sure. God, is it always this boring, this show? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just going to cut to the chase here. You two, watch him very carefully while I ask this question. What was her name? Yeah, well, that's no... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't say on TV. <laughs> Why? Oh, very good. I want to protect her modesty. But do right. As I did on that morning. Oh, nice. Do yeah, my, dad go, oh, always, yeah, my dad will always you, come yeah. into my room, yeah. and he always brings in the telegraph and reads to me little extracts that he's found. And then your mum's behind him, and then your brother and sister, like, oh, can we listen? Well, can what we happened listen? this one morning was that um, my dad had received a round robin, so he came in to read me this letter. I said hide under the duvet. Then my mum came in with a cup of tea, right. and my dad was reading this letter, so he was like, oh, Molly, Barnaby, why don't you come in as well? Sounds like a rough family. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were all around the bed, and she was sort of hidden under there. It was quite a long letter as well, so I had to keep sort of giving her a bit of air. <laughs> and then... You're doing that with yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a single bed or a double bed? Uh, it's one of these ones that's like a small double bed. Well, like, they're called oh, single, single bed. bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, it wasn't... Is this, is this the first time that had happened? Had they... Had you never I'd had been a in that girl, situation before? Or? I'd brought a girl back before, uh -huh. but I'd been very careful to sort of sneak her out in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'd, like, distracted my dad, and then you just oh, go, so go, that, go, go. that was the plan. The plan was you were going to sneak her out without anyone noticing. Through the yeah. laund laundry chute? <laughs> um, I didn't know what a laundry chute is. The butler normally just takes it from the room. Sorry. No, but I was planning on sort of, you know, sort of sneaking out and not having to deal with this situation. Yeah. And, and at the end, she was under there for too long, I had to let her out. Not let her out, that sounded like... <laughs> she, was, she wanted to be there initially. Yeah. Um, the only way you can conceal someone lying under a duvet is to lie on top of them in exactly the same body shape that they are. Yeah, really. well, I was sort of, you know... I like, it's sort of over her. What the hell are you doing? No, no, I just, like, so I could, you know, I had a bit of my body on her. I don't like humans touching me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think, Lee? OK, I, I think... Well, sorry, Jim, what do you think? True, I think. You think it's true? I uh, am. Yeah, I'm, I'm borderline true, yeah, true. Borderline go true. true. Go on, then. We'll go with true. You're going to say true? Mm. OK. Jack Whitehall, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? It is a true... <laughs> <laughs>